Assalamu alaikum, what's happening? That Muslim dude here. Okay, put up this video talking about uh, Muslims uh, with learning disabilities. Uh, I myself have dyslexia, so a lot of times um, I have uh, sometimes issues when it comes to reading. Not, I have like the mild form, so it's not like severe. Um, I can read, alhamdulillah, and understand things, comprehend things very well. But, you know, once in a while I come up with, I mean, sometimes I come up across things where uh, when it comes to reading, when it comes to reading or writing uh, certain in any language whether it's Arabic or English or Tri, uh, Fanti um, I you know words that kind of sound the same or uh, uh, look the same you know in spelling I have issue with I get them mixed up um, it's a lot of times I don't when it comes to reading Quran and learning my Quran I you know don't have that flow and that rhythm um, so um, what's important is that a lot of Muslims uh, especially young Muslims have learning disabilities, you know, whether they people know it or not, um, whether it be from dyslexia or anything, there's various wide range of learning disabilities. I don't know them all, um, but whether the, whatever the case may be, uh, it's important for Muslims kind of like to to kind of like understand those learning disabilities, and uh, like when you know you're teaching. Uh, somebody will learn disability if you know about it, and hopefully, inshallah, you, it's known. Because uh, when it's not, when I learn this, learning disability, excuse me, is not known. It's it's really difficult uh, for everybody, uh, the person learning and the person teaching them. But anyway, um, that especially like I say, like when you learn the Quran, for example, uh, you get learn disability and you get you get stuff mixed up, or you you're not understanding it well, or you're getting the letters turned around backwards. Uh, you know, the person that's teaching you. Um, they don't know, or they don't know what your learning disability is about. Say, if you you know about it, and you don't tell them. Um, they they'll get frustrated. They may be thinking that you're stupid. You don't you know like why aren't you getting it after a certain amount of time, and uh, you'll get a bit frustrated, and you'll think oh like you know like these person think I'm stupid or or whatever it is. Um, it's important for the person that has a learning disability, the Muslim that has a learning disability, to let their teacher know they have this learning disability. It's what it is. Dot dot dot. Um, or the parent to tell the teacher or well, not about their child learning disability. Um, it's also important. What's really good to see, uh, hopefully, will be good to see, is uh, young Muslim getting into uh, various fields that deal with learning disabilities and uh, coming to the Muslim community. Like maybe like somebody does, you know, goes in school for like, learning disabilities. And, you know, maybe who's a Hafiz, who becomes a Hafiz of Quran or teaches Quran or Arabic, you know. And uh, maybe they come across, uh, they see symptoms of, of uh, a student, whoever, no matter the age, and they see that they may have those symptoms of their learning disability. They can work with them uh, instead of all, all the time what I've seen, observed, and dealt with is like, you know, sometimes either teachers, you know, get mad at you, sometimes they'll hit you, sometimes they'll, they'll like, come on, why, why don't you get in? What's wrong with you? You know, um, that's very frustrating, and a lot of times I can turn a person off to the dean or wanting to read Quran, uh, wanting to read Arabic because they're just thick. Well, nobody's getting it, and it's like I'm not learning, so I'm just not meant to learn this, which is not true. Um, it's just you have to go about it a, a different way, and a different strategy has to be done. Um, but uh, reaching out to Muslim, you know, Muslim with disability is very important in this uh, day and age, uh, whether you can. Uh, see it, some you know, what, have a disability, uh, physically or mentally. Uh, you know, we all got to reach out. I mean, Muslims have to reach out to those people with those uh, issues. You know, uh, but learning disabilities, a lot of times they're a hindrance. Um, a lot of times they're a gift. But either way, you got to learn how to work with it. And uh, as teachers, you know, who teach in Arabic and whatnot, they have to try to be patient. And try to um, be more understanding of the person, um, you know, that you know maybe they, there's something going on that you know they need a little bit different strategy, and maybe inshallah I'll try to go another way about going going about it. You know, if they're teaching in the class and a certain students not getting it, so I pull them to the side or give them separate time and help them, uh, and you know not make them feel bad if you got other students that are learning it faster and quicker, you know, right? Uh, so learning disabilities uh, in the Muslim community, and uh, especially when it comes to teaching Islam or the Quran, uh, is very important to try to work with because um, 
you know, uh, it's, in, it's a lot of people have it, you know, uh, whether they know it or not. And uh, so Muslims getting into that type of field is very important in the Muslim community because that can help in so many ways, right? So that Muslim dude here talking about uh, dis Muslim with learning disabilities uh, and uh, how we should get into those fields and try to work with each other, uh, try to work with Muslims who have learning disabilities and, uh, you know, be a little easy on them, you know, because we're doing the best we can. Uh, sometimes we just, it just don't always come together like uh, you all, uh, like most people want it to come. Uh, all right? Peace.